welcome week in review with Justin and Corey. Uh, things got a little crazy this week, so we decided to do a dedicated video just for the DTM result. Uh, looking this week, it was some beautiful layups, and this is actually a bit of a strategy that I wanted to touch on. So, um, Aon was one that with the new uh, layouts, with the new setups that we have, we're adding additional notes, additional information on some of these trades. <clears throat> so this is one that I had closed um, just because we had come here, there was this downwards trending resistance line that I had seen was forming. And uh, I made a note and said, look, this thing is looking like it's going to get rejected. It did get rejected here. This was the time right here um, where I'm just like stochastic car size turning. Everything's turning. We're at that resistance point and uh, I, I sense the pullback was coming. So it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. It pulled back, you know, five, eight percent or so. Uh, oh, no, 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 not even two, three and a half percent. But then bust through. So this was one that we said, hey, look, this one, don't buy the spike. It pulls back or wait for a pullback. We always buy the red days, not the green days, and wait for it to make support. So we posted out this chart, made support on entry beautifully, and this is one that actually climbed up to TP4, so 21.5% after that. Um, but this is some of the farming that we can get into. So we post the cumulative, you know, if it hits TP4, that's it. We don't call anymore, but we do offer some really good advice. Or not, I shouldn't say advice, but um, insight into our strategies that we use as analysts here at DTM uh, to get into some of these flows, uh, some of these swings. So, you know, we've got the detonator, so we've got a bit of an advantage here. This came all the way back down to basically entry, you know, got a green dot here. Um, that was a nice little move from that. That's what I look at. So good time to take the UTC course. If you're looking, um, make nine and a half percent for me personally, I had a stop loss in, I secured a little bit of profit. I made about 5% on this one, not a big deal, but this actually came back down. This one laid up nicely here again. So same thing, green dot making support on entry and then moved on up. So, um, this is where having a combination stop loss and take profit strategy really go hand in hand. So TP2, we always take, rec well, I shouldn't say recommend taking profits at TP2. This is what we do typically. Uh, TP2, we jump out, wait for a pullback. Sometimes it just goes sideways, but again, you know, green dot lining up, uh, momentum shift might get back in and ride that up. But this one uh, in particular made to get the screens out of the way 38.89 percent so nice little run up even if you didn't bring it all the way to the end you know um easy way to farm and compound some of these moves that tb5 21 percent you know sell it anywhere in there um stop loss is going to protect you so we take portion out or typically um you know 70 percent out at tb2 and then let the other 30 percent ride in a stop loss and just move it up as these candles confirm, you know, we can come in and look. I typically look at the last candle. So move it up the stop loss uh, from this 0 0.026 to the buy line at very minimal, uh, make it a free trade, right? And then, you know, if it just trickles here, you got easy support resistance that keeps flashing up, but, you know, 0 0.028, I can add another zero in there to make it easier, but you get what I'm talking about and just let it ride. If it doesn't break, below that number, no big deal. If it does, you know, you stop out in profits 5.5%, you know, if it's, you take um, just a little bit under 5%, say. Uh, but if it does go up like this, you just simply let it ride and keep adjusting it. So, um, you know, big spike here, came back down, it's still holding that line. You don't need to adjust anything. You can let it sit and then ride it up. So even if you don't, you know, if you sold now, you would be making some good profit on that last 30%. But that's just one of the ones that uh, we played with. Uh, Trios was another one. So TP1, TP2, again, you know, stop loss strategy, but some of these, they wick through and then sell off and come back to entry. So you got one, two, three TP1s, you know, TP2 or just shy. TP1 for this, nine and a half, ten percent 10% is perfect for me. I love that. All three times in a week, take that all day, every day, and then, you know, ride this one up higher. 
Um, I took profit on, I think, TB3 with this one. I was happy with 25%, but 46%, 46.68% on this one. So um, beautiful, beautiful example. And then KDA was another one. So um, this one, actually, another example of the notes, you know, we came up, this one, actually, we stopped out. We made support and stopped out. So we let, made an update. We want to see uh, support on entry, and we didn't really get it until it came all the way back down here. So big spike, 22.5% spike. This is where update came out in the Telegram channel. I could show you the note if you want. Um, and yeah, we climbed in and rode this one up. So all the way back to TP5 from just, they just sometimes lick that entry line and uh come up and then fxs was another one just a slow burner but um we discussed this on today's ama of just letting it ride and this is one you can put some significant cash on too so you know if you're trading hundred thousand dollars day trading this is one that you can put that capital on and uh yeah even just that 9.38 percent tp3 we called this as an early entry. So we got in a bit earlier. It was right on the bottom. That was actually beautiful. And the stop loss strategy, 14.61%, or even I took profits at TP3, you know, 14 and a half, 15% on one trade. We had a few this week. Um, so you can't make all of them. Typically pretty tough to catch them all, but uh, you know, even just one of those is great profits for the week. So. Uh, that was it for me, Justin, over to you. I can dive into the telegram here as well. No, that was great. It was a great week and it's great seeing some of these larger caps make some of these gains as well. It really shows, you know, market direction sentiment for that time period. Um, as Corey touched on, the education piece is, is so important. And I think that's what DTM really has in it. You know, education and profits are our two goals. The videos, the training videos in the back office with your subscription talk about that stop loss strategy, the OCO order strategy, building support and, and being able to use those candles. So super powerful. Definitely recommend checking those out if you're if you're new to DTM or even if you've been in DTM for a while, have a quick refresher. Um, I go back, I look at that stuff all the time. And this week was a perfect example of using those strategies and just compounding those gains. You know, <clears throat> you set your orders and, and forget about them and you'll do just fine. Uh, definitely suggest moving that stop loss regardless of your strategy. Move that stop loss up whenever you can. But the compounding effect and, and waiting for those retracements and diving back in is just it's been so powerful. It's the last yeah. you know few months even it's been amazing to see the results. Well, that's where the market updates are super powerful too. You know, don't be shy. Make sure you're hopping on live with us. It uh, can be early morning. I know it's uh, 5 a.m. for Justin and I. Uh, it, I can't, uh, <laughs> I promise it's easy, but I can promise it's worth it. So hop on, ask your questions live, get into the strategy. I mean, we're there to share. Um, very transparent with our positions or, our, you know, what I'm doing. And uh happy to share a little bit more we can't get financial advice but we can definitely talk in-depth strategy and uh dive into what kind of what we expect from some of these and how i would play that as well so it makes things a lot easier when you're first starting out to be able to copy someone else's trading strategy right that's been doing it for years so uh beautiful week getting uh much more exciting seeing some higher tps as well uh, good profits to make regardless, but uh, it's getting to the point where we're very excited. We're seeing that momentum shift in the markets and, you know, things are heating up. So now is definitely the time to be putting away, you know, additional coin into the long-term positions. In my opinion, dollar cost averaging, you know, who knows, maybe we'll see another crazy uh, upset like we saw with FTX, with uh, Luna, you know, we'll see. Um but that's why we practice, practice proper risk management as always. So uh, that's it for me this week. Uh, same time, same place next week. Make sure to hop on live. We've got the Friday AMAs as well, public trainings um, to hop on as well as that recorded content. So it's not all recorded and shared uh, unless you're a subscribe member. We do cut out some stuff that you can only get live too. So 
um, just a little note, a little extra incentive to hop on and join us, right? So, Justin, any closing words? Yeah, there's there's been a lot of people asking about you know the FTX and how secure these these exchanges are, and I just I keep coming back to setting your intention, you know. So, our long term hold. Our our hang on for dear life portfolios, get that onto a wallet that you own, right? You've set the intention for that coin. You've set an X amount of time before you're even going to be looking at taking profits on that or whatever it might be. You're stacking. Get it off the exchange. Put it in a wallet that you own. Keep it secure. When you're trading, you've made a decision with those funds that they are trading, right? So we need to use these exchanges and things to be able to grow that, that account and continue to grow our portfolio and that's where you can add some different you know different strategies and different tools to your belt like like DeFi, right so DeFi, we're able to you know perform a lot of the same things that we can do as central exchanges but keep it in a wallet that we own so if if you are concerned about central exchanges just just remember keep keep your intention with those funds right if it's trading, keep it on the exchange. You have got stop losses. You can protect your capital. If it's long-term hold, get it off the exchange or start looking at DeFi as an option. There's the the, the industry evolves at such a rapid pace. You know, the more tools, the more resources we have, the better we can take advantage of those opportunities. Yeah. Speaking of DeFi. We have the bundle on sale, uh, pre-sale until January 1st as well. So if you've got any questions, hop on. We're always here. Uh, we dedicate time every single week to making sure that you know, people that are working with us have all the tools and everything they need to really take advantage of what's at their fingertips, the opportunities that present themselves, right? Preparation. The uh, definition of luck is the opportunity or uh, definition of luck is where opportunity and preparation intersect right so uh lots more to come make sure to jump on live and we'll see you next week have a great weekend as always practice proper risk management great safe everyone